everybody, Rick was Stumped here today playing more Kerbal Space Program. And what do we have on the agenda today? Well, I'm not quite ready to save uh, Jeb just yet. I did practice a little bit of rendezvousing, and I'm not too good yet, so I need a little bit more practice before I can rescue that guy, but it's going to happen. This episode, though, I think what we can actually do is, after our successful orbit of the moon, I'm feeling like we could probably get to Minmus this episode, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get to Minmus. But before I do, I'm going to spend a little bit of science. I've got 112 science, and I'm going to spend some on fuel systems so that we can get bigger tanks and also start working on some asparagus staging. Now, I haven't had a ton of experience asparagus staging, but I'm going to give it a go this time. And this is the little rocket that I was thinking would be the basis of what we're going to build, but I think that we can make it a little bit better. How can we make it a little bit better? Well, first off, we can make it more aerodynamic. There we go. Four nose cones. That's good. And what else can we do? We can probably start to do some asparagus staging. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Uh, so to asparagus stage, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Do do do. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. This is what I'm doing. Here we go. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to hook it up to this. Okay. Whoops. No, I don't want four. Come on. Dagnabbit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to attach this guy to this right there and then we're going to attach this. to this. There we go. And we're going to do the same on this side. Attach this to this, and then attach this to this. Okay. I think I've got our asparagus staging set up correctly. So what's going to happen is, this is going to draw from this tank, while this draws from this tank. These are going to empty first. This is going to eject. Then this one will empty second. This will eject which will leave only the middle rocket. Once that's empty, we'll eject that, and then we'll get into space with our Terrier Thruster, and hopefully get to Minmus. Let's see if we can get it done. All right, Valentina. Are you feeling confident? I think you've got the goods. Crank it up, and go. Okay, asparagus staging is working like a charm. Just keep it going. And once those get empty, then we'll decouple and slow down a little bit. Decouple, there we go. Ah, oh, it's working perfectly. We can slow down. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. So far, so good. I've got a good feeling about this. But I shouldn't have said that, because I probably am going to jinx it. I can't say things like, I've got a good feeling about this. That's never a good idea. And separate those now. And look at that. We've still got a full tank of fuel here. Which is a beautiful thing. I think I'm getting more efficient at building these rockets now. You guys have given me a lot of great feedback. And you guys have like been telling me, hey, you're building these rockets too big. They're inefficient. Hey, use this rocket instead of this one. Use this engine instead of this one. And all of your guys' input has been invaluable. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at this game. Thanks to you guys. Well, thanks in large part to you guys. And uh, so hopefully as we progress in Kerbal Space Program, I'll just keep getting better. I'll just keep feeding off the ideas that you guys give me. And we'll just keep have this, this whole feedback loop thing going. Anyhow, uh... How we doing? We're doing great. We're doing super duper great. So, probably just start to take this in now. Start to head towards that 90 degree. Okay, we broke out the Terrier now to finish off our orbit. So far, we're looking pretty good. I think that we'll end up with plenty of fuel to get to Minmus. And then getting back, that's the tricky part. All right, let's stretch out the orbit now. Got to get that apoapsis way out there. Way past the moon into Minmus orbit right out here. 
significantly farther than the moon's orbit, but you know what? As soon as we get this Apoapsis out far enough, it's going to expand out there, no problem. Super quick, and it's going to take hardly any fuel, just as soon as we get away from the gravity of Kerbin. Come on, Apoapsis. Okay, here's where it really starts just to fire out there. Expanding faster and faster and faster. There it goes. All the way out to Minmus, and we'll cut it. All right. There we go. And we still have about half our fuel left, which is perfect. And now we'll just warp time a little bit so we can get there a little bit quicker. All right, Minmus. Looks like our orbit is actually a little bit above Minmus, which is strange. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. Oh, is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? Come on, come on, come on. Catch us, Minmus. Oh, Minmus, come on. You got to catch me. You got to catch me. We need to tweak our selves downward, actually. Okay, I think that I fixed our orbital situation. I think that we are lined up now. Pretty good. Pretty good. And I'll probably want to stretch out my orbit a little bit more, make it a little bit more eccentric. Let's see here. Go prograde. Make it just a teeny bit more eccentric. Whoa. Oh, come on. We're getting so close. Oh, uh, min miss. Take me away, please. Okay, now we're just going to have to start fast-forwarding until we line up. Oh, is this going to... Nope, nope, nope. Almost. Close, but no cigar. Ah, uh, you stupid moon. I hate you. I hate you so much. Look what you did. You ruined it. You ruined everything. Okay, I've made several passes by Min Miss, and it hasn't pulled me into its uh, gravity. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to have to look into that. But for now, let's just take a little peek, all right? Let's get up close and personal with Min Miss. Where are you, Min? There you are. Minnie. So there it goes, passing right by. Not pulling us into its gravity at all. Goodbye, Min Miss. Okay, this is the closest that I think we're going to come so far. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. Finally, we've done it. Okay. So, we are making a flyby of... Where are you? Still, I can't see it. I'm in its orbit right now. Or I'm within its gravity. But I still cannot see it. Is it above me? There... Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's Minmus. Oh, Minnie. Minnie, Minnie, Minmus. All right. So, we've done our flyby of Minmus. Uh, it only took us a year and 304 days, but we've done it, and there it is. Now the question is, how are we going to get back home? That's going to be the tough part. All right, Min Miss, that's as close as we're going to be able to come to you. And I'm going to back out now, and let's see what you're going to do with our orbit, because you're going to fling us, I know you are. But where are you going to fling us to, is the question. Okay, good. That's actually not too bad. So now we're going to get to the periapsis here. And, uh, like I said, we have no RCS, so we're going to just have to hope to get lucky. Okay, that's not going to be the way to do it. All right, shrink it up. Good, good, good. We're getting close to Kerbin. Okay, this may actually work. And... Sweet! All right! I was really expecting it to be more difficult than this, but there we go. Still some fuel to spare, and bingo, we are back in retrograde. Okay, moment of truth. Re-entry into Kerbin. Do we have what it takes to get home? I think we do. I think Valentina's been tested enough. I think she's got the skills. Come on, girl. You got this. I think, I think I forgot to take readings at Minmus, didn't I? I did. I'm such an idiot. God damn it. Yeah, okay. It's all right. 
we'll get to Minmus again. Come on. Retrograde it. Retrograde. There we go. Oh, it's scary. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Just stay. Keep that trajectory. Keep that trajectory. We got this. Don't flip, don't flip. You're going to flip, aren't you? Don't do it. Okay, good. We got past 20,000 meters. That's always when things go crazy. It's around 20,000 meters. It looks like we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. Ha, ha, ha. We're gonna make it home. Good job, Valentina. We did it. We made it to Minmus. Uh, it wasn't nearly as thrilling as I would have hoped. Minmus was uh, not as exciting as anticipated. But, uh, you know, we did it. We can check that one off the list. And now we're just gonna slow down, wait for it to get to about 250 meters per second so we can deploy the chute. All right, shoot, deploy. But you know, all that hassle in going to Minmus. But with all the hassle involved getting to Minmus, I feel like we probably got what it's going to take to get Jeb home. So I think next episode, that's what we're doing. We're bringing Jeb home next episode. Damn it, it couldn't possibly be harder than getting to Minmus. I mean, and come on. We were out there for almost two years. So, it couldn't take as long, possibly. If it takes more than two years to rescue Jeb, then, you know, I think I'm in the wrong line of work. All right, we have touchdown, and let's recover. Valentina, welcome home. I wonder if she got any XP from that. Did you get any XP? No XP gained? Are you kidding me? That was intense, what you just did, and we got no XP from it. Anyway, we did it. So that's it, guys. We made it to Minmus. We did a little flyby. We got back home. And next episode, we're going to rescue Jeb. But we've got 54 science, which isn't a lot. So I think that in the meantime, between now and Monday, I'm going to farm a little bit of science so that we can get some science upgrade stuff. But until then, guys, uh, if you're liking this series, I hope you guys are. It was a little bit frustrating today because I would hoped, like I said, to rescue Jeb, but things just didn't go according to plan. Anyhow, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and if you are, give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I've been Rick Dumped, and I'll see you guys next time.